Hey there, it's Diane Banks, radio personality and voiceover actress in Chicago on Twitter every day at Diane underscore Banks. Let's follow each other, voice123.com slash Diane Banks. Here's my demo. You can hire me or take voice classes with me on Skype and YouTube with new videos all the time. Here's some suggested videos for you, some of my latest up to ta -ta, 641,000 views. Thank you so much and growing. Wanted to make a quick mention that, you know, I skipped last week doing a video because it was my birthday on uh, the 15th of August and so I took a little time off but I wanted to mention this to you in case you are not a member of Disney Movie Rewards you should definitely do it because look what they do they give you 100 bonus points on your birthday just for having a birthday so just a little something extra there let's do a couple of your comments before we get to today's topic uh, the ultimate experience says I'd say Cruella DeVille looks more like Meryl Streep. That's pretty funny. I said, I'm not sure how Meryl would feel about that. Glenn Close wouldn't be offended, though. This is from a video, 15 celebrities who look like Disney characters. Uh, and then he also says, Aladdin looks more like Tom Cruise. That's a good one, I think. It looks like a young Tom Cruise. So let's do one more here, and then we'll get to the topic. Uh, the Oscar Jr. 2 says, it's in a memory and is in Family Island. And this is about uh, my video for Inside Out, the 15 Easter eggs secretly hidden in the movie. I asked about the Pizza Planet truck. And he said, that's where it is, in a memory and in Family Island. So thanks, you guys. Great comments. Keep them coming. And I'll keep reading them. Uh, top 20 things you can't bring into a Walt Disney Park. That's our topic for today. I thought this was interesting because some of these I didn't know. And maybe you won't either. Some surprises. Uh, this is from DisneyDining.com. So here we go. Certain wheeled items, such as skateboards, inline skates, shoes with built-in wheels, large wheeled items. Now, even if you wanted to bring your cute little suitcase that you bought uh, from the Disney store, it has to be less than 24 inches. I check, it sounds like the airlines, doesn't it? I check this. This piece of Disney villain luggage was only 20 inches, so this would be good for your girls' weekend. <laughs> That's actually really cute, isn't it? Um, it's sold out, though. So I guess I should show you something that you can't get here. You could probably find it on eBay or somewhere. But anyway, uh, just as a little sidetrack there, I thought that it was interesting about wheeled things. They do have a lot of modifications on there and what you can wheel around there. No alcoholic beverages. Now, if you purchase bottles of alcoholic beverages as a gift, they will hold it in the shop immediately bag and tag it and go to the front of the park for you to pick it up when you're leaving so there's a lot of steps there and of course you can buy alcohol especially at Epcot when they have their fun things going on there but I didn't know this tell me if you did you won't be able to carry it with you into another park so make sure you take it to your car or resort very interesting um, even if it's bagged and tagged and ready to roll they won't let you take it into another park pretty strict on that no weapons of any kind. Well, that's kind of an obvious one, but this is interesting. They do sell the lightsabers and whips and wooden rifles, pistol swords, and Magic Kingdom Frontierland. That was my question for you guys who might be buying those. Do they still sell those? I'm looking at these here on eBay, and um, like this one here, plastic guns. Some of these look a little scary. The Jack Sparrow sword. Are they selling that in the park? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you've bought those things or if you know that. So I thought that was kind of interesting. No folding chairs or stools. Of course, you might want that for the fireworks, but there's plenty of places to sit. No masks unless they're for medical purposes. Of course, we want to uh, keep bad things from happening, and they want to be able to check out criminals' faces on surveillance cameras. So I was thinking that, like, with costumes and things, they do have all the little costumes, but there's no masks going on there, something I just didn't notice. An interesting one there. No glass containers, baby food jars, and perfume bottles, I guess, are okay. Let's see. Let's move on to no pets or animals, lesser service animals. This is cute. They have um, the full pet care facility at Best Friends Pet Resort in, near Port Orleans in the Riverside area, which uh, if you do bring your pet on a vacation there, I've never done that, but look at how cute this is. They read to your dog. Can you stand that? Is that not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> I'll put the link for this too if you want to read more about it. But this is the best friends facility where your pet can have a vacation too while you're uh, out playing in the parks. I love that idea. Uh, okay, so where are we? Uh, ta -ta -ta, no selfie sticks anywhere in the park. Now I did a video on this. 
and I would love to get your comments. Um, let's see, where did I put it? Is this it? Yeah, here we go. Uh, Disney World, Disneyland, selfie stick ban, and how you feel about that. Do you agree? So watch that video when you get a chance and let me know your thoughts on that, uh, since that ban is in effect. Anything that can be considered potentially harmful or disruptive. Uh, okay, well that makes sense. Let's see. No discourteous behavior. Uh, <laughs> no bullying. Okay, well that's good. They don't tolerate bullying. Well, we certainly don't want that to happen. You can't put your hands on a guest or cast member for any reason. No running. Now that one surprised me. Don't we run sometimes when we're trying to get to a ride, like before the end of the day or the fast pass or something? I thought that was an interesting one. And do they actually enforce that? Hmm, considered discourteous by Disney staff. No feeding of any animals in the park, including the birds. You know, that's a, a, a good one. You want to feed the birds, but don't. People food is just really bad for them, and then it causes them to swoop down and, and bad things happen. It becomes like the movie The Birds. <laughs> Anyone not wearing shoes or shirt, proper attire required. This surprised me. Wearing a bathing suit top not considered to meet the shirt requirement. I wonder if they enforce that. Um, because, you know, they've got the water parks. It would be nice to kind of hop over, right, after you've gone for a swim or something, or even from the hotel. So I don't know about that one. I thought that was interesting. Uh, let's see, e-cigarettes. Guess I don't know. They do have some smoking designated sections. Guess under 14. Well, I think that's an obvious one. Uh, if you have a costume, you can't pose for photos or portray Disney characters in costumes that impedes operations. Um, blah, blah, blah. I wonder how, how you would enforce that one, though, about the costumes and stuff. Like not posing for, you know, like promotional things. And, and I suppose if people want to sneak around and try something like that. Uh, let's see. No sale of goods or services. Da, 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 da. I think we're just about done here. No professional photography. Well, we know that. No balloon straws or drink lids permitted at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Why? The obvious reasons. We don't want to hurt the animals with those things. I also think gum is not sold at any of the Disney parks. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But um, you can chew gum, but they're not going to sell you any. And it's good. It keeps things cleaned up. So as we wrap up here, what do you think? Are you surprised about any of these? Let me know in the comments if you're surprised about the, any of the 20 things. Or are any of them too much? Do you think they've kind of gone overboard and tried to uh, keep things enforced at the parks? And it's Diane Banks on Twitter, Diane underscore Banks, voice123.com, slash Diane Banks here on YouTube, new videos all the time. Please continue to share and watch. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Tell your friends to subscribe too. And have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.